Hello everybody, Gives a Mac here, and today I'm going to be talking about the suppressor in Battlefield 4 and in future Battlefield games and how it could be balanced out. So Level Cap Gaming, he made a video talking about the suppressor in Battlefield Hardline. He was also talking about the CZ805, but he was, you know, I, later in the video he talks about the suppressor and what he thinks could be changed to the suppressor to make it a bit more balanced and to make it a better attachment. And I'll leave that in the description, so if you want to go check that out, you can check that out. Now, whenever you're firing in Battlefield 4 and in a lot of other Battlefield games, if you if you have a radar on, if you have a minimap, you will actually show up on the minimap if you're firing with an unsuppressed weapon. Now, if you put a suppressor on that weapon, then you won't show up on that minimap whenever you're firing. It also decreases your muzzle velocity and a bit of your spread uh, whenever you're not moving. Uh, but that's not too big of a deal. The main thing is your muzzle velocity does get decreased. So what Level Cap Gaming said is he said that if you have a suppressor, you should have only a certain range should be decreased. So let's say instead of showing up on all the minimap, on the entire map, let's say whenever you're firing you only 10 meters or 20 meters, you know, in your area will be decreased so that... You know, if somebody's in real close to you in your area, then they'll see you on the minimap, even if you have a suppressed weapon. And I wanted to, you know, talk about this a bit more and uh, also put on my thoughts on the suppressor in Battlefield 4. And this could also be added to, like, Battlefield Online or uh, future Battlefield games. So, he also said that since there's, like, four suppressors in Battlefield 4, they don't really do anything except for aesthetics and, you know, the and the factions that you have. You know, you have a Chinese, uh, you have a Chinese suppressor, you have a Russian suppressor, you have, uh, you know, an American side suppressor, you have all those. And he said that there could actually be a few changes to these, because there's not really a change at all in these suppressors, just, you know, what, which one do you think looks best? So I was thinking something like the R2 suppressor, which is a more compact suppressor, if you had something like that, then maybe the R2 suppressor would only have, you know, p enemies in 5 meters to you or 10 meters. If you're firing, only enemies that are really close to you can see on the main map. But the muzzle velocity will be taken down. So the muzzle velocity, you know, instead of, you know, decreasing it by, say, say 300 meters per second, it will take it down by maybe 400 or 500 even. Although not all weapons have that you know that fast of a muzzle velocity it would just decrease the muzzle velocity which is how how fast your bullet to travel to the enemy okay so that's a good thing about the r2 suppressor which is more compact so you want to use that on a more close range oriented weapon but let's say you want to use something like the l206 suppressor maybe that could have instead of you know 10 meters you it increases to maybe 30 or 40 meters where enemies will see you on the minimap but the the muzzle velocity won't be decreased as much so you know it's, if you, if a weapon fired at like 600 meters per second it would only decrease it down to like 400 so this could also be a way to balance out every single weapon in the game so let's say you have a more powerful weapon well, that weapon that is, you know, maybe even louder than a PDW or something, that will show you up on the minimap of every enemy. But if you're using, say, a PDW or a pistol, that's, you know, and these are saying that's not all, that's none of suppressed. Let's say if you're using a pistol or a unsilenced PDW, we'll, we'll say that those have less of a range where enemies will see you. And this will also combat the, uh, the mortar spam and the UCAF spam because they can't see you on the minimap whenever you're firing. So say if you have a sniper, which would be a louder weapon than like a, than like a pistol or something, then if you're using a sniper, which is way better at long range anyways, then if you have a, if you have a sniper and you're sniping, you know, everybody can see you on the minimap because one, you have that bullet trail, two, you have... You know, just a louder weapon and three you're supposed to be doing good at long range unless you have a suppressor of course but even then the suppressor on a sniper is a pretty bad idea unless you're gonna be very close up to the enemy we could also do this for like lmgs and battle rifles in battlefield hardline uh, and maybe you know just balance out weapons that are used for longer ranges you'll show up on the minimap you know longer meters on the minimap so if somebody's farther away They'll see you on a minimap, then they can, you know, come come to your location 
but if you're using say a shotgun or something that's very good at close range then you would not show up on a minimap for everybody on the map you know you, your dot wouldn't show up on a minimap as as long a range they could also balance out a suppressor maybe the oppency on the minimap will be decreased the only problem with that is a lot of people have different uh, oppencies on their minimap uh, and you know they want their ma their map to be more transparent than other people i mean my myself personally i like to have my minimap very you know i don't like it to be transparent at all but i know some people really like it to have you know 50 percent transparency or uh, even like 30 percent transparency so that they can still see what's going on around them but they can still see the minimap if they need to see an enemy another thing is a lot of people use different colorblind settings I don't always use colorblind settings, but I do sometimes use colorblind settings and just because I feel it looks a bit better sometimes on some maps. I feel the colorblind settings would look better. But if you have it so that you have a different colorblind settings, then it's kind of easier to see some enemies on the minimap, uh, depending on you know what suppressor they would be using. And another thing is, I don't feel the suppressor is that overpowered. I feel like... The suppressor isn't, in my opinion, the most overpowered thing, especially in hardcore. And hardcore, it's kind of useless because there's no minimap. And that's kind of a problem, in my opinion, because I don't think that the suppressor should really be nerfed much, much more. Uh, now, this could help out weapons. So, like I said, this could, ha this could help out balance the snipers and you know, the longer range weapons enemies can't see you on the minimap as long distance away if they're a long distance away would say that instead of just adding this whole system which would be a neat system because it would let people use different uh different different suppressors which just say that instead of all that system which just nerf the suppressors so that you know they decrease your range as well as your muzzle velocity and all that or they decrease your drop off distance or or even your bullet drop or something like that so let me know in the comments do you think that this is a good idea i mean full credit goes to level cap gaming he kind of uh, came up with this idea so just would you like this to be a feature in battlefield Har in battlefield hardline or battlefield 5 or even battlefield 4 they could probably implement this into battlefield 4 so let me know in the comments, hope you enjoy, feedback is always appreciated, and I'll see you guys in the next video.